it's Richard Holzmuller and I'm making the grilled cheese sandwich. I just finished my workout, uh, you know, half hour on the weights, hour and a half on the bike, doing uh, 16 miles on the bike. And so, yeah, I'm hungry. I need to eat. So here we go. Just like I did with the cheese pizzas, I'm doing it here with the grilled cheese sandwiches. One of them is going to be the gourmet cheese sandwich. The other one's going to be the vegan cheese sandwich. I'm going to do a little taste test, a little comparison, see which one's got the better flavor. And you're like, okay, Richard, come on, man. What's up, man? You already done this. We already know you kind of like, like them both, uh, you know, with the cheeses over there. Uh, here's what I'm doing different. On the, you know, regular grilled cheese sandwich, I'm using real butter. Or, well, traditional butter, I guess you should, could say, should say. Uh, and on the vegan cheese, grilled cheese sandwich, I am using this stuff. Get a good view of that. Uh, yes, European style cultured vegan butter made from plants. It's interesting. It's new to me. I'm, yeah, no, I, that's why I picked it up. Had to go for it. I mean, I got the vegan cheeses. It was right next to it. So I'm like, let's give it a shot. So anyway, I'm going to start with the, uh, um, the gourmet cheese sandwich first. And I don't know how you make your grilled cheeses, uh, but... I'm sure you're going to be fascinated by how I do this over here. Uh, I used to work in a restaurant, Dave's Real Pit Barbecue, Gainesville, Florida. And I, like, uh, I used to make grilled cheese sandwiches over there. And this is not how we made them at the restaurant. Um, but I'm just kind of doing, working with what I got over here. Over there, there was a, um, a big thing we'd ladle down the grease onto the you know the, the skillet or the, you know the big stove over there and um right it was it was a little bit of a different process um yeah so anyway we i got some little butter on the pan some of that butter i'm warming up the bread and i got some of my cheese shreds from the other day while the bread's warming, I'll tell you what kind of cheese this is. So this is the, the Manchego. This is the Honey Bee Goat Gouda. This is the Yorlsberg. This is the Wexford Mature Cheddar. And it's also the Swiss Gruyere. So this is cheese from the other day. Like I said, I got a little left over. And just kind of spin this around a little bit. Make sure it gets nice and hot. Want to get that toast nice and hot. Otherwise, that cheese isn't going to melt. And that's kind of what you want to happen with your grilled cheese sandwich. So that's why we get the one side nice and hot. You could cheat and use a toaster and warm it up first like that, but I don't know. It's better, I think, like this because then you can get more of the butter on there and fry it up, more of that fat, the salt, and it's just a lot more fat flavor. And so that is doing its thing over there. And I can kind of feel like through the bottom of this, that that's kind of getting nice and warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip one slice over. Um, you know what? And we're doing something a little bit special on this too. While it's warming up, which is still warming up, I'm gonna get a little bit of garlic and I'm going to mince this into the cheese. And so again, flavor enhancer and well, yeah, I don't know. I love garlic and it's just a great flavor. So anyway, you can hear it, can't really see it, but it doesn't matter. I'm using, you know, this fine side over here with the, the garlic and kind of getting that into the cheese. And then, uh, yeah, that should be really great flavor. And how's the toast doing? Okay, yeah, all right, it's looking good. A couple cloves of garlic in there. Just going to make sure I get it off the grater. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. You know, because it gets stuck to the inside of the grater. And so, you know, you just gotta make sure it's off. All right, we're kind of toasted, kind of toasted. It's warm. And get some cheese, throw it on here. And, oh yeah, dude, it's a little, little sloppy, a little sloppy, and that's okay. Um, This is not a fashion show. And oh yeah, man, I can like already smell that 
garlic in there and just like the cheese and everything. Wow, it smells freaking wonderful. Um, and just for good measure, and so you can see it, we're gonna go like this and do a little more garlic onto the cheeses over here. And that's freaking great. You're like, oh my God, how much garlic does he do? I mean, when you mix it in like that, it's, it blends in and barely noticeable. There's so much cheese. You saw how much cheese that clumped on there. It was a lot. So great. Now I've got the other sides toasted. Doing it over here like that, put it on there like that, and put a little bit of garlic to my fingers on the bread, put it like that, and it's kind of quick. I'm out of the scene, but you can watch the food cooking on the stove. I'm getting more butter onto the pan. Oh, yeah, product placement, the books in the background, and there we go, more butter on the pan. So I just like, just want this to be freaking delicious. And butter makes like everything better. I don't think there's anyone who can argue that it doesn't. Okay, great. Look at me, I got a turner. So we're gonna turn this around, boom. Oh yeah, man, like you can see that. It's nice and brown, that's, that's what you want. Definitely not black. Burnt. Not so good. Uh, while it's doing that, just because I want like a nice butter. I guess the only thing that would make this better would be bacon, but I'm vegetarian, you know that, and I'm not doing bacon. I think that's a good idea for somebody though. A grilled cheese bacon. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Probably gonna flip this around again too, and uh, just so I can get the other side evenly cooked. Got a relatively low heat on this because again I'm terrified of burning this, so um, so it's taking uh, taking a couple minutes, taking a couple minutes. But uh, again, like I said, you're better off doing this on your own than giving someone else to do it. Bought one of these from the restaurant and. It was like, seemed like a good idea, and I enjoyed eating it. It tasted great, and then I put, put it in the microwave, and I could see the, the grease inside the cheese, and like, like uh, you know, I mean, cheese is greasy, but something about it really turned me off, and so I'm just like, yeah, I'm better off doing my own thing at home. So, here we are. That's, we're going to call this pretty close to, oh man, that crispy cheese is just looking freaking great. It's going to be a garnish for us on the plate. And yeah, that's that's nice and toasted, nice and toasted. Uh, that's that's good enough. Cheese is melted, good enough there. Put you on the side. And um, just to be fair, I'm going to get the, I'm going to wipe up the pan, wipe up the pan. Uh, from from the butter and there we go a little paper towel and still hot makes the uh, you know the melting of the mayo goes a little bit easier there we go so got a nice clean pan and so this is like you know in case you're thinking like oh yeah Richard it tastes delicious because it's got the butter on it, but no, let's just kind of see how it looks. And it's it's different. Whatever, it's kind of whoa, okay, all right, all right, all right. Just like butter, it's melting nicely. This is looking freaking awesome, actually. Looking a lot like uh, the other butter. Uh, yeah, you can see it. You got a nice shot of that. And I'm having a really good time with this the butter over here. Uh, okay, so just like I did in the other one. Because I like, I like flavor. And flavor comes at a price in the form of calories. And that's why I exercise so much. Because I eat lots of calories. And so i got to burn them off. 
If you don't, then it's not so good. It's not so good. I like I like doing stuff, and uh, it's a lot easier to do stuff when I'm a, a healthy weight. Okay, so that smell. Uh, yep, it kind of smells. Um, almost smells fermented a little bit, and maybe it is. Um, European style cultured, V cultured usually means fermented. So, okay, maybe maybe that's what's going on there. A little more butter on the pan. Oh, yeah, dude. Looking good. And, okay, good, 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 good. Bread's nice and hot. You know, again, with the cheeses that I'm using there, it's uh, the Daya uh, cheddar and Daya mozzarella, Daya pepper jack, and then, of course, uh, I got the, the other two over here, another cheddar, and I forgot what this one is, but it's the other one that's a block. Uh, probably another cheddar, maybe it's a mozzarella, um, whatever, dude. I'll be shredding those on there because I don't have them shredded yet. And okay, that's still still warming up, still browning, so that gives me an opportunity to do my shredding. So there we go, back with uh, the old cheese grater now, cheese grater side. And okay, it smells great. I'm kind of, it's intriguing. And uh, so that's kind of cool, so here we go. Wish you could see this, but can't have it your way all the time. Okay, grating the cheese, grating the cheese, grating the cheese. Okay, I think that's enough. Back into the plastic. How's the bread doing? Ooh, starting to get brown. Okay, good. We're getting there. And um, I don't know if that was the inside or the outside. Um, yeah, okay. Whatever, dude. Okay, that goes like that, and oh yeah, that's definitely browning. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start putting some cheese on it. Okay, oh, flip you over. We're going with the bag stuff over here first, because that's easiest. Because I'm still grading, it's gonna buy me some time. But if I can open the bag, I'm going to open this bag. Oh yeah, the tenacity, the persistence. That's how I pay the student loans off. I will get it done. And yep, there we go. There's some of that stuff on there. There we go. Yep. And then again with this stuff over here, opening up the bag. I guess it would have been a little bit fancier if I would have done with the other cheese and just put it in the bowl, but maybe next time. Or you can learn from our mistakes and do that yourself. And then this bag will open too for me, because I am patient. And you will work with me eventually. Yeah, you did. Yeah, there we go, some cheddar. This cheddar's really pretty. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I didn't forget, we will be putting garlic on this. No worries. How was that? Okay, it's looking good. Just gonna turn out like that, put you like that. Okay. Kind of pace is picking up a little bit as this is uh, doing its thing with the white cheese. Going to make a nice five cheese, nice and even. Okay. Oh man, this stuff is waiting for me to get going with it. Quick little grades over here on my white block cheese. There we go. Yep. And you're back on the plate. That is. Got a few more seconds to slice on, grate on some of this garlic. You've got to keep this nice, fair, and balanced. I know that's some show slogan. Um, whatever. I'm just trying to make a nice comparison over here between the two. Nice garlic on both of them. And all right, yeah, okay, got garlic on there, get on there, good, looking good, and one more slice of garlic, and I'm almost done, the fourth finale, it's coming up, it's coming up, thanks for your patience on this, again, scraping out the inside, because that's where the garlic is hanging out, and all right, there we go, I can see the toast, I'm liking this a lot better than the other one, actually, there we go, now, flip you with the turner, or spatula, 
whatever you want to call this thing. I like to call it a turner. Oh yeah, dude. Oh dude. Wow, that color looks great. Kind of thought it was like leaving it on there a little bit too long, but it was getting close to the burning stage, and we're not. Uh, maybe there's all the butter I put on there. Wish we're gonna do some more. Get on there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, looking good. On the pan, smells lovely. The garlic, highly recommend that on your next grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, Turner, Turner. Yep, good, great. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm having a great time. I hope you are too. This is this is definitely a lot of fun. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, you know, and you know the difference between the um, traditional cheese and the vegan cheese is that the, the vegan cheese doesn't really melt all the way. Like you know, with the pizzas, a 450 degree oven, like you can still see like little strands of the cheese, and like so you can tell that it's not really cheese because cheese will, will melt into this like you know soup, you know like fondue, whatever. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna do a quick color check over here and see how this is. Okay, okay, okay. You know what, it's, it's a light, light brown, uh, a little bit lighter than the other side, but to keep things fair with this guy, which is a nice light brown, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off the stove. Temperature off, great, okay. Get you over here. Get you over to the side. Hopefully you don't burn me in the process. And you can go over there. All right, I'm gonna rinse my hands off real quick. Actually, you know what, why do I even need to do that? I'm about to eat the sandwiches. So, since this, this guy's cool, the cheese one, I'm gonna try you first. And they're like, Richard, what are you cutting a knife in there for? I'm like, I don't know, man. You know, I'm a little bit different. So, cutting off a little slice of this. And there we go. Mmm. That butter. I've never used it before. That butter's great. That dairy gold. That's excellent butter. Very good flavor. And that garlic in there is is wonderful. I'm gonna do one thing more. Oh man, a garlic with that bite. That's so nice. I chose this butter because it's, um, I don't know, I was reading the package and it just kind of seemed like, oh, I remember right, that's what it was. I remember now, the rating on it. It's grade double A butter. And like that's supposedly like the best butter that you can buy. And so, um, you know, in this reading package, it kind of seemed like, you know, a farm with like values and seemed like a product that they really cared about. And so I'm just like, all right, it's great double A and it is, you know, by someone who cares about their stuff. So one thing I'm gonna try is that marinara sauce that I got that I put some garlic in the other day and get a little dip in there and see how that tastes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Doing like that, using the marinara sauce as a dipping sauce, it's kind of like having, you know, grilled cheese and tomato soup. It's, you get a similar effect to that. And so, that's a great way to do that too. Okay, this should be cool enough. And, all right, gonna cut like I did before, keep things all even. And, you know, like I said, you know, that cheese, you can see strands of the cheese in there still that is like, looks like it didn't melt, but that's kind of like the nature of the product where it doesn't get melty all the way. It's hot. So, I mean, it was cooked. Again, okay, so I'm not raving about this stuff like I am the butter. The butter has got better flavor. It's 
still good, but the flavor isn't as awesome as a Derigold. Probably because it doesn't have a double A rating. Um, but again, the garlic on there with the cheese, the cheeses are similar. Of course, the vegan cheese isn't as authentic as the my gourmet cheeses. So that's a very, if you want that ethnic cheesy taste, then, you know, go with the gourmet cheeses. But if you want just like this good cheese, it's good. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Like I mentioned in my sun tanning video the other day, I was like, you know, just mix the two. I mean, honestly, the person that you're cooking for isn't going to know the difference between the vegan cheese and this cheese. I mean, if you're not going with that very flavorful cheese, like most people aren't going to know the difference between the two. And again, I'm going with the dipping sauce on this. Mm-hmm. Excellent. They both win. Um, Flavor-wise, where do you want to go? You want a, a classic butter flavor? Go with the Dairy Gold. If you want something more heart healthy with some, still it's good. It's got, you know, the greasiness, the fattiness. It's got nice flavor. It's very light. It's much more milder. I mean, it does this. You saw it melt in this, the pan over here. It does the same. Has the same effect. I mean, it's going to be healthier for you because. Again, this has no cholesterol. So if cholesterol is a concern for you, go with the, this my, my Yoko's um, butter. It acts the same as regular butter and just milder flavor. But again, you can compensate with the flavors. I throw some garlic in there, get your garlic marinara over there, and uh, so you can, you can balance it out. Uh, so what's the winner on this? You're gonna hate this, but they're both winning. Like, which which one are you looking for? And again, like I said, I'll mix the two, mix the two together, and uh, it's even better, I think. So you get the best of both worlds. Hey, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for buying my books. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's always a great time. All right, we'll do it again soon. Thanks. Bye bye.